Hello! <laughs> We're gonna go dye my hair. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Sorry if it's a bit crooked. I just took my hair out of those space bonds. Yeah, ignore my uh, armpit hair. We don't have razors in the house. And I'm a natural girly. Except I'm really not. Oh my god. <laughs> Look. This is so attractive, guys. I don't know. Anyway. So, I am using L'Oreal Paris Superior Preference um, 9.5A Lightest Ash Blonde. This shit was my favorite uh, when I was in like my 20s. And I put my hair up to the back and I kind of have this medium blonde right here. So I'm hoping to have results like that. Obviously it's box size, so we'll see. And also, before I forget, i take, take my plugs out. Look at those babies. Half inches, yay. I can't get them to go bigger though, I've tried. <laughs> That's what she said. When I did Sadie's hair with this, it didn't smell too bad. Famous last words. But I don't know how it's going to be for me. I guess here's my before. It's pretty blonde. I, I have enjoyed it, but it's just time. Cha-ching! Cha-ching! difficulties. I got fat hands. Oh, you want to watch my fat jiggle? That's fun. Woo Look at that bad boy go. Oh, that's crazy looking. Oh my god. My arms hurt so bad. Woo! It's jizzing a little bit, guys. He's too excited. Oh my god. I think we're good. Alright, this is how I've always done it. I'm not a professional. Oh! Oh, it's burning a part of my scalp. Oh shit. I must have like a... <clears throat> Like a bubble right there. I'm gonna make sure my roots, you know, especially right at the front. <laughs> Remember, I am not a professional. Do any of you guys like to box dye your hair? Kind of a pain in the ass to do, really, but I enjoy it. And it's this is like I think eleven dollars for this box. So, I mean, it's been a hot minute since I've gone anywhere to have it professionally done, but, like, I was watching a Lenny. Hi, Lenny! And she said, not that, oh my god, that was like, strong chemical whiff in my eyeball. Like, you know, you get too close and it's just like, whoa. But she was saying, like, for hers to get professionally done, it was like $300. I mean, she's from Canada, but like, holy shit. Like, that's fucking nuts. I mean, I guess I paid over a hundred for mine, but that was like over a decade ago. <laughs> Quite honestly. It's, I haven't had my hair professionally done since like, I think Kyle and I first got together. We started dating in 2010. So, that tells you anything. We've been together a long time. He's my man, and I love him. It's funny. I met him in high school um, when I was dating my high school boyfriend at the time, who I literally dated all four years of high school. And then we broke up right after. <clears throat> um, or he broke up with me, rather. But anyway, it's not here nor there. But I knew him in high school because he was uh, dating one of my best friends. And so like, you know, I, I would invite her to my dance and she would bring him and I don't know, he, he thought I was like 
Vavoom. Of course, at this one dance, I wore a very, like, tight dress that really showed my cleavage. Man, I looked good. And I was like 100 pounds less than I am now. Still overweight, but I was primo, you know? <laughs> I'm not putting myself down. Don't, don't take it that way. But I looked good. Yeah, they, they were dating and like sometimes I'd hang out with them, not very often, but sometimes. And I thought they were so cute. Well, then I moved in with said friend and her girlfriend uh, in like 2009, October 2009. And um, we had like a, a party. We had a lot of apartment parties, honestly. We were young. But that's where I got reintroduced to him because it had been years since then. So I kind of got like reintroduced to him. Got drunk. So. Oh God, that's intense. And some of the, there were two other guys there that Kyle was trying to hook me up with. I wasn't feeling them. And I was like, meh. Kyle turns my tables. But then uh, I got nervous. And after we had had like a makeout sesh, I uh, said I had to go to the bathroom because my stomach was all messed up. It wasn't. I was just scared. So I was in the bathroom with my best friend and her girlfriend, my roommates, like, I'm too afraid, I can't go through with this, I don't know what to do, and so I was in there for a while, and I was like, I'm just gonna, you know, say I've got diarrhea, we gotta stop. So, <laughs> mind you, I was a virgin, so I mean, that makes sense as to why I was very afraid to, like, move any further. <laughs> so I stayed in the bathroom for a while and by the time I was done, actually I think he fell asleep in my bed and I was like okay I don't even have to say anything. So I left him be for a bit and then the obnoxious uh, person I am decided it would be hilarious to take some shaving cream and put it in his hand and then take a cat toy and tickle his face so that he would get shaving cream on his face. This man married me. How? I have no idea. Why he even chose to date me after that? I don't know. I had fun. He obviously loves me very much and I'm very thankful. He's a good man. Men like him are hard to find. I feel, I feel like. Anyway, so so I did that to him, tickled his face, and he's got his hand, he lifts his hand up and he's going like this and the shaving cream's like falling on his face and then he wiped it all off on my blanket, which quite honestly I deserved. And uh, I don't quite remember much of what happened after that. I know he wanted to like fall asleep with me, but I was like really freaked out and feeling guilty for like not having anything happen and I ended up laying down in the living room while he was laying in my bed and I guess he came out to lay with me in the living room so then I got up and went to my bedroom and laid in the bed. I don't remember this at all but he does and he's like yeah that's what happened and it kind of sucked after that. I was like well damn I'm sorry and we didn't we didn't end up like really getting together until the following year um, we had been evicted from that apartment because we were young and dumb and didn't pair. Honestly, we should have never lived on our own at that age. We didn't know what the hell we were doing and why this apartment complex thought that we could afford, um, to live by ourselves. I don't fucking know. But anyway, I was not... So I lost contact with him at the end of that year because I had a falling out with my best friend and her girlfriend 
over the whole it was it was a it was a messy eviction and um anyway i reconnected with them like two months later and then we went to the mall and kyle t tagged along because he was hanging out with them still and so we reconnected and the thing that like sent me over the edge where i couldn't stop thinking about him was we were getting on this like fortune telling scale that told you your weight and then gave you a fortune or something along those lines and he says after you my dear that's all it took i was done i'm like you're it i need you and uh i tried to like forget about him like i was like i don't know like it was scary it was very scary and you know catching feelings for someone is very scary a couple weeks i don't know maybe a week or two went by and i hung out with him and the girls again and i wrote him a note on in my notebook or on his paper that he i don't know i think it was actually he was drawing and i asked him to see his notebook and i wrote in there that i liked him asked him if he liked me too such high school shit and uh he never circled yes or no and instead handed it back to me without any answer and then he showed me that he liked me and then it took him three fucking months to ask me to be his girlfriend it was the longest three months oh my god and it was a very confusing time a lot had happened between us and but then he finally asked me on May 20th, 2010. And basically been together ever since. We had like a minor breakup in September that year. But I don't even consider it a breakup. Because all we really had to do was talk about how we were feeling. So we worked on communication. And uh, we got through it. So, yeah. All right, hang on real quick. I'm going to get right along here, making sure I get these roots by my face, behind the ear. But yeah, it was um interesting. The, the breakout, I mean, qu quite honestly, we just needed to communicate. So I really don't even consider us apart because it was just a couple days, maybe five days that we were officially broken up for. And uh, we talked and hung out that whole time. So, yeah. Oh God. Oh God, this is where it gets bad. You see the color changing already up here? Pretty cool. Hey, baby. Yeah. Can you come check my hair? damp in the back yeah okay thank you so what stories were you telling oh you know us it's a story of y'all 
turning my tables. All right, see you uh, soon. I'll check in before my shower, which is 25 minutes from now. Yep. I think it looks a lot brighter, but I guess we'll see. See you in a few. Okay, so it's still damp, but it's definitely brighter. And frizzy, because I'm killing it. <laughs> I am pretty pleased, and it seems like I got it well covered. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna end this here because it's long enough. This is good enough. You'll see the fine, like you'll see it dry in my other vlogs. But thanks for watching.